Hey guys, it's your favorite animatronic girl, the Dark Cherry here. And today we are on Siren Head, the Siren's Forest. Um, this is a game developed by Gwydion, L-L-Y-R, um, Merid, D-Y-D-D, -D -D 2020. This is, um, specific. The game itself belongs to Gwydion. Um, but it also says here on this, um, lower left-hand corner, it says Trevor Henderson is the sole owner of the Siren Head trademark. Siren Head, the Siren Forest does not intend to infringe on this trademark, only to expand the Siren Head community, and it says lure, but I think he meant lore. Um, it also says Siren Head, the Siren Forest makes no warranties express, implied, or statutory as to the Siren Head trademark owned by Trevor Henderson and respects the amazing property he brought into this world. So this is obviously a fan of Siren Head. Give me one moment, guys. Sorry about that, guys. I've got a little bit of a head cold, so... Kinda got a runny nose. I didn't need you all here and me blow my nose. Anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. I've already kind of beaten it. It's a bit of a short game, guys, so... We're not gonna skip the tutorial. We are gonna kinda... go through it here. Not really. The tutorial is pretty much just move. My head hurts so much, I really need to quit drinking. <laughs> uh, I'm too close to that. Whoa. A map of the local forest area is covered with newspaper articles and missing people's posters. Okay. Okay, use Q and E to look over your shoulder. L for flashlight. Okay. F to interact. Okay, so the tutorial was not complete. Where are my keys? Here's the keys, by the way. <laughs> Hopefully this will see an update and we'll get some actual honest, like, modern day keys. That's where I left my truck keys. Those did not look like truck keys. Those looked like old cellar keys for, like, an old farmhouse. Okay, so now what do I need? I think that's all I needed. But let's look around the house anyways. F. Okay, so... I think that's pretty much everything for that. And then all the other doors in the house are locked, so... Can't go through that. Interesting, there's a card note here. Okay, that's just a silly bet. Whatever. <laughs> Quick backyard jaunt. There we go. I just wanted to show you guys a bit of the map with that backyard thing. This guy is hung over. There is no reason for him to be behind the wheel. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I love this game, though. This is really, really well done. Um, the graphics aren't l at their best quality, but that's never mattered. Like, even pixelated horror games can have some really scary moments. But this one has definitely got the um, psychological side of it really, really, really well done. So... And it is a shorter game, guys. It's not very long. I think I was able to complete it in about 
30, 35 minutes or so. Hosted by me, the radio man. On tonight's show, our headlines will be covering tragedy, satanic anger, and of course the weather. Firstly, three teenagers have gone missing after the storm last night. They were last seen entering the Sirens Forest. No details have yet been confirmed by the police. However, locals believe the worst since the forest has an outstanding history of missing person pieces that always go unsolved. Our thoughts and prayers go out to their families, and we must warn all members of the public to stay out of the forest. In other news, it's been burnighted all the families of the Kainal gathered in the village hall for their reporting the weapons. Don't fall asleep behind the wheel. What happened? Where's my check? So what is this place? <laughs> this must be a nightmare, he says. What the hell? Yeah, Demi, you got knocked unconscious by your car wreck. Oh, it was a close one, he says. Need to find a way out of this forest. Which way do I go? What's that near the radio mast? These must belong to the missing kids, but why would they have left their bikes here? Maybe I'll find the missing children if I stay on this path. Now guys, this game isn't too scary right away. But it will get there, so just give it some time. Is that what I think it is? There's the pools of blood. A very well-known common place. It's blood! No kidding. Bunch of pools of it everywhere and you're dumb but... More blood. Stomp, stomp through the blood. <laughs> Those poor children. I have to... I have to find them. More blood. Why is there so much blood? Those bodies? Splish, 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 splish. 
These are the missing kids. Who's out there crying? Sploosh, 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 squish, squish, squish. You'll see soon enough. Keep kind of running that way. What was that thing? That creature? It's what ate the kids. Where did it go? So we're getting close to um, the end as it is, guys. Like I said, it's a pretty short game. Da -da -da. You're going to die in there. Don't say I didn't warn you. Screw it. There must be a way out through here. Let's hope I don't run into that creature before that. I will find you. I think it knows I'm here. You can't go in there to hide. You're going to die. Don't say I didn't warn you. This is all just a bad dream. Please just be a bad dream. Yeah, right. I'm coming for you. This isn't just a bad dream. Here he comes. Up and over. 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 Now these guys, um, the trees in the way, they will trip you up if you hit them without jumping over them. Get in and let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then guys, if you decide you wanted to go play, you wanted to play this game, um, for yourselves, I will leave a link to the Steam page below. Because this game is really well done. Man, the 
animation on Siren Head is amazing. Just wait. <laughs> to be continued. Maybe. Dude. Gwydion, you've got to continue this. You left the opening at that. You left an opening, dude. You've got to. You've got to continue it. You just have to. And I'm going to make certain to leave that on the Steam page. You definitely have to. <laughs> Anyhow, that was Siren Head, The Siren's Forest, which is based off the Siren Head property created by Trevor Henderson. Um, and you can always go and check his Instagram if you want. At um, I think it's at Trevor Henderson on Instagram. Um, and sh a short indie game developed by Gwydion, L-L-Y-R, Meredi Meredi -D. Um, you can always go check out his website. Music was composed by Mew. You can check out their YouTube channel. I already have. They've got great music. So go check them out, guys. I think that's pretty much the end of the credits. Nope. Animation sourced from... Oh, okay. Mixamo.com. So any of the animations were done by some professionals at Mixamo. Which is great. Made with the Unity engine. Um, I prefer to use Unreal Engine if I'm building a game. Um, by the way, guys. Tarot is nowhere near completion yet. I thought it would take me until about the end of the year. I'm still having a problem with um, assets and things. Use Unity assets. Basically, this is which um, assets from Unity they used and where they were created. We're going to go ahead and skip the rest of this, guys. Anyhow, guys. That was Siren Head, The Siren's Forest. I hope you enjoyed it. It is the full game for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. This is the Animatronic Girl, signing off. I love ya. Bye.